What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I am back again today bringing you guys another episode of Pink Slips here on the PlayStation 4 with Madden 25 Ultimate Team. Now, guys, this week we are actually going to be playing for three cards. That's right, we have Charles Woodson, the 99 Madden 25 Edition. We have Patrick Peterson, the Combine Edition. And then we also have the base legend, Lawrence Taylor, the 99 overall Lawrence Taylor. Uh, very, very awesome trio of cards here. I think they would pr improve pretty much anybody's team at this point. So uh, definitely uh, excited for this one. I'm a little bit nervous that I'm going to lose. I I've had a really good winning streak lately, and people have been kind of like saying that, when is Clickwood going to lose? And for some reason, I'm just not feeling very confident today. So hopefully I'm able to come out with a win, but we'll see what happens. My opponent is actually going to be Deathwish Skater on Twitter. Now his team is actually Red X Pants. And uh, so we'll go ahead and see what he has in store for me. His record is 276 and 37. Not too bad. Uh, very, very nice record for, uh, if, especially if he plays a lot of head-to-head -head games. So hopefully his team isn't 99 overall, but we'll see, I guess, when we get into the game. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon. Opening play of the game, and we're going to test him with outside zone. Let's see what happens. He's, he sees it coming for sure. And we get tackled in the, well, game two. Doomerville hit us. Not a, not a bad start, but we'll see what we can do from here. All right, guys, you know that one of my favorite plays now is this buck sweep. So let's test it out here and see what we can do. We've got some blocking. Okay, there we go. Well, at least a decent game there. All right, we're going to give him the same look here, and we're going to try and go read option here. Let's see if we can uh, get any blocking on this backside. Nope, he's going to he's gonna actually commit on the quarter. Oh! Chris Johnson gets freaking leveled! Oh, no! How is he not injured? That was heinous! All right, backside with the buck sweep here. Oh, he actually played that fairly well, but... The blocking just worked out for me, and he, he didn't have a fast enough player to keep up with Chris Johnson there. First and ten now. We're going to try and run a screen pass here. Oh, he, he read that perfectly. I got to admit, his, his users aren't too bad right now, I have to admit. Oh, he moved his defense in the wrong direction. That's a poor choice, friend. That's a poor choice, friend. That's Thurman Thomas, by the way. You guys are going to see him in an upcoming video. There we go. Got a little bit better blocking this time. Another first down there. We're moving the ball effectively on this first drive. Another first and 10 now. And he continues to commit on the quarterback, which is a smart choice because I could easily take off with Walter Payton at any time. Second and nine now, and I'm going to try and go with this halfback counter here. I've seen it work pretty effectively with for other people. Oh, baby. We got that thing. Touchdown, CJ. All right, first drive, we are up six to nothing so far. We're probably gonna try and kick this extra point and go up seven nothing, but it is a great start to the game so far for my team. First and 10, my first play on defense, and I'm just gonna try and make sure he doesn't go offside to the right here. And he didn't, okay. He didn't go outside to the right. We were able to stop him. That was a pretty easy stop. Third and six now, this is the first third down of the game for me on defense, and we've gotta watch this tight end. That's who he's going to for sure. Oh, he tried to run with his quarterback. That isn't going to happen. So it's going to bring up fourth down. First and ten after my opponent did punt. So I do appreciate him doing that. And we're going to try and continue to pound this rock here. Let's go, CJ. All right, little short little game there. Three yards, not too bad. Okay, so the two-minute warning has hit. And we are going to try and keep this football until the end of the half if we can. Um, I'm expecting here that he's going to commit on the quarterback, so I have to make sure that I pay attention and uh, don't get smoked in the backfield. But I am going to run a speed option here, so hopefully I can get some blocking. And he did commit on the quarterback, so we are going to pitch it, and we get tr just destroyed in the backfield. Not much I could do there. Okay, third and nine, and we pretty much are in a pass-only situation at this point, unfortunately. We do have to try and put the ball in Walter Payton's hands and see if he can get anything done. Uh, there you go, CJ. There it is. Nice gain there. Out of the backfield, Chris Johnson makes himself get open in the open field. And that's always a good start because Chris Johnson sometimes has those dropsies early in the game. And I don't like that. Back on first and 10 now. We are running the ball here. Look at Donald Penn. Look at him just beast. Oh, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have come, come so close to the edge there. I probably could have gained a bigger yardage there. 
but uh, we'll take what we can get at this point. Okay, let's see if he's still committing on the quarterback. I don't know if he will. We'll see here. Nope, not this time. Oh, but he still gets me with the defensive lineman. Ugh, I got him. I got him with his pants down, and I still couldn't do anything about it. More running here. Oh, he committed that time. Oh, I almost cut it back. Oh, that would have been massive. Ugh. All right, we're in third and long again. It's third and 18 after two disastrous plays on offense. Um, you know, we're, we're just going to try and get this first down. I don't know if it's going to happen, but we'll see what we can do. Oh, gosh. Yeah, well, we couldn't pick it up with the run, but that's okay. I really didn't have much as far as uh, open receivers there, so we are going to try and kick the field goal here and try and go up 10. So that is going to be a three-point field goal for us there. We are up 10-0 now. In, going into the half here, we've got about 14 seconds left. All right, so that pretty much did it for the first half. We are here now in the second half. We played great defense in the first half and not so great on offense, but decent enough to put 10 points on the board and give us that 10-point spot to start the second half. And, oh, man, look at Charles Woodson. That is just a beast in run coverage. I mean, he just completely destroys people in the backfield. I love it. Even though he didn't get the tackle, he made him lose more yardage. Like, it, he somehow would, did a better play than if he were to make the tackle. Uh-oh. Now he's starting to run with his quarterback a little bit. Third and six, and he's starting to run with his quarterback just a little bit, so uh, we're going to put a spy on him and make sure that that doesn't happen. Oh, what is he doing here? Oh, nice hit. That a boy. All right, we stop him there for a one-yard gain. Okay, so fourth and five, and he is going to go for it. I don't necessarily blame him at this point, but if he doesn't get this, he is going to be in some serious trouble. And he doesn't get it. We knock it away, and we have the ball now in scoring position. Okay, so we have done a good job so far on defense, and now it's time to hit him with a play action and try and go for another touchdown here. Watch how he moved his safety out of position there. Hopefully I'm able to get him deep here. Oh no, what a terrible sack! Oh, he took forever to throw that! Oh. So I am not doing well with passing so far, and uh, he's starting to take advantage of it. So hopefully we can uh, pick up some yardage here, and we can't with the read option. We're moving back even further. Jeez! So this drive started off in very good field position, and now I'm out of field goal range, so I really just need to move into field goal range. That's pretty much my goal here on this play. Um, I, I need to stop losing yardage on offense. I'm trying to mess around too much. I could easily just pick up yardage with like the buck sweep, but um, not trying to do that too much. Look at Donald Penn, though. Picking up a nice completion there. 23 yards. It's not enough for the first down, but it will put us in a much easier field goal position, and this should be an easy three points for us. We will take our three points again here, and that is going to put us up two scores here. 13 to nothing. Almost two touchdowns. Good enough, though. We'll take it. Um, I'm a little bit worried that I haven't been able to do much on offense, but whatever. I, my defense is playing so well that it really hasn't mattered too much yet. Back on defense now, and he is continuing to try to run the ball, and it's just not working for him at this point. Oh, that was a nice play there, but we are going to make the tackle in the backfield. That was It didn't work out for him. He kind of caught me off guard, though, I'm not going to lie to you. Fourth and eight as we enter the fourth quarter, and I am going to try and just make sure that he doesn't beat me with his quarterback. Can't allow that. Oh, yeah. Uses on deck, shorty! Interception, and we are back in business here on offense. Second and 12. Look at that block shed. I don't know who... Is. That's unbelievable. Elvis Dumerville is just destroying me, too. I can't do anything off the edge, and I am getting a little bit irritated about it right now. I can't lie to you. Third and 10. We haven't been able to gain anything on the ground in these last couple of drives, so let's try a play action here and see if we can get open. And we've got nothing. I'm just going to throw it away. Just going to throw it away and try and kick a field goal again, I guess. And that puts us up 16 to nothing. That is a two touchdown and two, tu two point conversion uh, lead for us. So that is a big field goal. And he only has 247 left to come back. And he hasn't really been able to do much on offense. 
244 left in the fourth quarter now. And he's going to continue to try and run the ball. I got to give him credit, I guess. I mean, eight rushes for 16 yards. I would not be running the ball at this at this point. I just wouldn't. Woodson again with another tackle. I'm not going to get beat deep here, and I know he's going to have to pass at some point. So he picked up the first down on the ground there, but he's not gaining much for yardage at all. Second and three, and he's continuing to run the ball. I, I don't understand this gameplay at all. I really don't. Two minutes left. He does still have all three of his timeouts. I'm not sure why he continues to run the ball, but that's what he's liking to do, and we're hitting him in the backfield sometimes, and it's just not working out for him at this point. I don't know what he's doing. Fourth and eight, and I'm just going to do my best here to uh, prevent the deep pass. If he picks up the first down, no big deal, and it looks like he is going to. Not a big deal, though. It's okay because he still has to continue to let that clock run unless he wants to call a timeout, which I'm sure he doesn't. He needs to get into the end zone here ASAP, and I'm not sure that it's going to happen for him, to be honest with you. He's going to try and take off here with his quarterback, isn't he? Oh, Patrick Peterson. Oh, that one-handed pick, though. That is pretty much going to do it in this one. What an interception by Patrick Peterson. One-handed. Whoo, baby. That was nasty. So that is going to do it in this one, guys. I do keep all three of my cards in this week's Pink Slips. It is a 16-0 victory. I'm kind of disappointed in how I played on offense. My opponent didn't have the best team overall, so I really should have played better than I did. Uh, defensively, we did just fine. Uh, didn't really allow him to do much at all. I'm not sure that he even really crossed the 50, to be honest with you. But offensively, I'm, I, I am concerned about how I played. Now... Because I'm in the, the happy and giving mood and everybody's been uh, doing so many cool giveaways for me on my channel, I am actually going to give this guy another card. Uh, and he is I think he's going to be happy with it. We are going to give him one of the Charles Woodson cards. So although he didn't win all three, he is going to win at least one of the cards. In my opinion, one of the better cornerback cards in this entire game, Charles Woodson. So he is going to add that to his roster. Uh, congratulations to him for at least being selected in Pink Slips. He played very well, actually, defensively. His users are better than most people that I've played, so uh, at least defensively anyway. So congratulations to him for at least winning this Charles Woodson card. He played legitimately. He didn't play like a jackass, so I do appreciate that. Let me know in the comment section below, guys, what you want to play for next week here on Pink Slips. And don't say Ultimate Legend Barry Sanders because that's not going to happen. I don't have an Ultimate Legend Barry Sanders, and I don't have 3 million coins, so I don't know how you expect me to get it. But with that being said, guys, leave that in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys want to play for. Make it something reasonable, please, and, and uh, I'll try and make it happen for you guys. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you press that like button below. And like I said, leave a comment. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. We do pink slips every single week. We've been doing a ton of giveaways. I have an updated budget series that I've been doing as well. So there's all kinds of different content depending on what you guys like. Thank you all for watching. I do really do appreciate it. And I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.